Today, we are going to teach you how to install a Trigger 4 Plus in your Cayenne. I'm Justin. Hey, and I'm Cousin Rob. And this is Hoosman Bros. Before we go too much further, be sure to subscribe down below uh, for more great content like this. So today, Rob, what are we doing? So one of the great innovations in off-roading is the ability to attach multiple sets of lights or accessories around an off-road vehicle. Okay. And normally, you'd have to tap into a power supply. That means maybe tapping into a battery or, God forbid, drilling through a firewall. The folks at Trigger, with their 4 Plus, have completely eliminated that. With this device, we put this up under the hood, uh, and, and in this case, with the Cayenne, as we're gonna show in a few moments, we can completely hide it, oh, nice. which is fantastic. Then we simply install a couple of wires. There's a positive and negative, and then this is the Trigger wire, which we'll, we'll show you how to do that. And then once this is all installed, this is then turned on when, uh, on key, so it's not, an, it's not uh, draining power from the battery, okay. so it's turned on on key, and then we can attach up to four different devices up to it. So in this case, nice. we're going to attach our lights from our light, light bar. Excellent. Then the magic, here's the magic. They provide you with this uh, control module. So this control module is Bluetooth. How brilliant is that? Oh, wow. So we, we install this in the car, and then we assign which, you know, which one it's going to go to. In this case, we're going to pick one of them. There's comes with multiple stickers, so we can say front lights, rear lights, roof Ridge, lights, etc. Right. And then we mount this in the car, and when you need to turn it on, you just hit the switch. That's fantastic. Let's go do it. Right on. So, Rob, does the box for this come with everything we need? It, it does, except for the mount. Okay. And that's where we're going to... We engage our good friends over at Yearwise, right. and they got a, they've got a really wonderful mount. Uh, it's not expensive. The great thing about it with the, the 955 right. is once it's installed and we put a little tiny bend on it, we can completely hide it under the beauty cover. Oh, you don't even nice. know it's there. So is this mount specifically for this piece, it, or is this a yes. generalized trigger? No, it is specifically for, for this, this, one. this the 4 Plus. Built for it. And you'll see I've already gone ahead and pre-installed it, and there's basically just four bolts. We just uh, attach it. Um, it takes literally a couple of minutes. It's very, very straightforward. And so when we're done, we'll be able to hook these lights up without having to run any more wires than we are. That's correct. So you'll see I've already put together a custom harness that takes all of the lights and basically puts them and, and has them meet, meet here. This is one of the wires from the Trigger Plus 4. Now, well, here's a best practice or tip. If you're going to mount the Trigger Plus 4 and you happen to have the, bump, uh, the, the bumper cover off, say, to install this bumper, that's a good time to route Run this wire through. right there. Absolutely. Yeah. Taking this thing on and off has been something that it, we've done a lot. Yes, we've done a lot. Right. The install itself is just one bolt. So there are three bolts that, are, that form the top part of the, uh, uh, the strut mount for the air strut. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this middle bolt. We're going to go ahead and install the, the trigger, simply going to put this bolt in and start to tighten it. And then, what, now what you'll notice I did is I turned this slightly just to this position here. Okay. So from, if this is, let's say, perpendicular, I turned it about 10, maybe 10 degrees. Because that goes under the beauty cover. That's correct. That this, now at this point, then I bent this, bent this bracket back and it completely fits under the beauty cover. Oh, perfect. So once we go ahead and uh, tighten this down, we'll go ahead and get show you where the wires go okay. and where they connect. And then what we'll do is we'll put the beauty cover on so you can actually see it's completely covered up. It's really beautiful. Fantastic. It utilizes these two wires here, or these two antennas that are right here. That's going to be your, your um, Bluetooth antennas. And of course, they talk to that little box that we showed you. Now, remind me, Rob, how much was this trigger system? Yeah, they're not much. Um, seems to me about two. Might need, might need to edit this, uh, but know. I think about two and a quarter. So, you know, things change in inflation, 2023, yeah, right? right? Yeah. So we're in that range. This is available on Amazon. That's where we got That's it That's where we got so, it. That's correct. And do you remember roughly what the bracket was from your wise? Yeah, it's about, it's about uh, it, I think it's fifty nine ninety five. Yeah, so yeah. for about 300 bucks, you've got a great setup here under your beauty covers That's ready correct. to go. And the great part is you've got four different fuses and wires that you can access. So we can have lights here. We can put lights right. other places. We can put lights on the roof and we can run it all through this device. Yeah, when we did the ones in our Cayenne, it was run all the way through the underneath the car. This seems like a lot better solution. It's, we don't have to no punch drilling. a hole. No yeah. drilling. No um, drilling. We do have to punch one small hole, which I'll show you, and it's in the it's in the fuse box, and that's just to attach the trigger wire. To get it fired um, but up. I'm, I'm going to show how that goes. Then what happens is it, each one of these corresponds to the, to the fuse. I've got two 30 amps and two tenths. So you just pick a 30. In this case, we're going to use a uh, one of the 30 amp fuses for the lights. Um, I already have the wire run through. We're going to go ahead and after we get it all uh, 
uh, installed, we'll connect these two wires together. These three here, we'll just simply move them out of the way. So, and then if we ever need them, they're, they're right here. That's right, right. we've got room for them right here. So we're going to tap into one of these wires, one of these, these mounting posts right here. These are all, these do draw power. Okay. So one of the challenges is uh, we've got to use this trigger wire. The trigger wire tells this device whether to draw power or not, ah. and it's accessory on. So we're going to pick a fuse that only comes on when the key's turned on, and that will that will then tell the trigger device, ah, I need to be on. If you don't, it'll draw power. The battery in these is under the seat. You don't want to have you don't to replace want, right. your battery. No. So the one of them, one, the, the positive is going to go onto one of these posts right here. Okay. Uh, the negative, we're going to rem to remove this. Okay. Um, we're, there's an acorn nut, 13 millimeter acorn nut, and generally these are also 13 millimeter nuts too. We're going to remove the 13 millimeter acorn acorn nut under here. Simply put the ground on, and then attach it back because you know we're not going to lose this but we do need to get access to it all right so we're going to uh, continue with our trigger install and what we have to do is install what's actually called the trigger wire i know the box the device is called the trigger but the trigger wire is really important to the install and but i, I, I since this is an instructional video sure it'd be nice if we had a second pair of hands for this here i am well, where have you been you weren't in in the intro look the channel is called Hoosman Bros. It doesn't necessarily you guarantee both bros, but at least one bro at all times. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> all right. What the hell happened to the intake? Don't you watch the channel? I mean, that's a whole separate video. Oh, well watch that one, I guess, and I'll watch the same. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, so what are we doing today, Rob? All right, so as we show, we're, we're installing the, uh, uh, the, the trigger device here, and this controls all of our lights. And we're only gonna have one set of lights initially, but you can install up to th uh, three different sets by using these wires that are here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap the power, we're gonna tap the ground, but one of the important things is we have to install this trigger wire. Okay. If we were to install just the ground and the power and to a battery tap, it would drain the power from the battery. It's not good. So this trigger wire then tells it that it, basically this thing stays passive until it sees a signal from the trigger wire. What's nice about that is it's not drawing power during the time the ignition is off. It's only drawing power when the ignition is on with this trigger wire. So we're gonna show you the tip on how to install the trigger wire uh, without having to drill through the firewall. Good. That's a bit, that's a key thing, and that's a key advantage to the whole trigger assembly. We've got this cover that's that's here. Now, I've, I've kind of removed it already, but there are a couple of clips, and it's usually jammed or forced in, into this under this other cover. So sometimes you have to kind of tug on it, but once again, we, we got it, it's off. In here, we've got, this is a this is a, one of the, the fuse boxes. There On the Cayennes, there's a lot of fuses, right? There's two fuse boxes. There's one inside the door on either side of the car, right? So there's one that's right here, but there's one on both sides. But there's another one under the hood. So what we're going to do is you can actually see right here, there's a gap between the metal of the firewall and the fender. So we're gonna run the trigger wire right inside this gap here, and we're gonna drill a hole right in this, in this fuse box, a little tiny hole. We're gonna go in right there. I feel like a dentist saying, hey, I'm gonna drill this in, into this tooth right here, and then we're gonna pull that trigger wire through. Then we're gonna use that, what's called a fuse tap. That allows us to take that trigger wire and then attach it right to the top of um, uh, the fuse, and then you know we're good to go. When you're doing something and you don't have like a real solid surface, the drill t tends to what I call walk. So in this case, it walked a little bit, but it still didn't walk enough to where it impacted anything. So you can see we have our nice hole right here. So you'll notice in the hole that we drilled, it's right by this, what I call 404 re relay. And you may say, why is that the case? If, unfortunately, just above it is a plastic ridge. It's actually gonna be really hard to drill through. Plus you have the cover that rests on this ridge. So it needs to be below that ridge. So that's why we picked that location. All right, Rob, so what do you want me to do? Well, you've got a really important role here. You've got to run the wire and get it up into the fuse box. All right, let me give it a shot. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to take our trigger wire here and we're going to run it through these little gaps to get it up past the firewall. And then I'm going to go back down through here. I feel like I'm doing a little bit of sewing here. But now I've got it and I'm trying to see if I've got enough wire so hopefully I don't have to splice anything. So now I want to get it into the fuse box through the hole Rob just drilled. So I've gotten the easiest part done and now comes the hard part. I need to try and get it in this hole that's at the bottom of the fuse box. And normally this requires several curse words, or at least that's how I learned how to work on cars. But this is a family channel, so we're not going to do any of that. Uh, but it's totally a feel thing. You've got to find that spot. Ah, there we go. Okay, I just found it there. So now I'm going to bend this 
a little bit so I can try and get it in there. What you might be watching right now is a magician at work because I felt around there for a while, but I'm pretty sure there is no hole on the other side. <laughs> so if Rob gets this through there, I'm going to be amazed. A lot of teamwork. Hoosman Bros is a team effort, and we finally, through many hands, were able to get this wire through the back of the fuse box into the fuse box. Now what we need to do is connect it to one of the fuses, but the problem is we don't have quite enough slack because not only do we need to connect that to the fuses, we've also got to come back and we've got to arrange these wires as well. So we need a little bit more wire than we were given. So what we're going to do is we are going to add an extension to it. So we're going to, we've got a couple of great tools here. This is part of my handy dandy traveling toolkit. We're going to snip the wire and put it in the right place. And I'm going to use this connector. Um, I think, believe it's called a butt connector and it's going to connect the two pieces of the wire together. Once we get the wire stripped and, and properly linked, we're going to crimp it down using this tool here. Okay. Where'd you get that from? It's like a magic trick. Oh, this thing here. This is one of my <laughs> secrets. This is no, no longer... No, this... The, you pulled that out of nowhere. I well, don't even know where well, that was. This, this, these are no longer available. Uh -huh. These are... These are... Yeah, those this, are good ones. This is gold. <laughs> yeah. So that tool may not be available, but we do link to a lot of the tools in the description below. So if you like what we're working on and you'd like to get that for yourself, check the links below and you'll find a link to it. All right, so we're doing a fuse tap now. Tell everybody what a fuse tap is. Fuse tap allows you to tap into the power of an existing fuse, maybe with an accessory. You need to make sure that the fuse you're working on has enough amperage to support both what it's supposed to in the car, as well as the accessory that you're adding. In this case, we're actually not adding any power, we're just sensing power. So what this, in this case, the fuse tap is simply piggybacks on to the fuse, just like this, and it snaps in. And then we put our lead on here. Now, this is what the fuse tap looks like installed. So here's our, our wire that we're adding to the fuse. Here's our butt connector that allows us to tap into the fuse. The fuse tap is this gold piece that fits. Uh, it, it snaps into one of the prongs or one of the feet uh, of the fuse and then snaps into the top so it offers some support. All right, so you've got the fuse box cover back on. Right. We've got our trigger wire tapped into the fuse box, got yes. the fuse box cover back on. Yes. Now what are we doing, Rob? So now we're going to go ahead and put our connectors uh, onto our ground and power wire. So we're going to start with the power wire here. You can see I've got this loosely on here. I'm going to take some pliers. So normally a, a, an electric crimp isn't big enough to crimp down on this because that's right. big. So we're going to use good old fashioned vice grips. Okay, that works. Okay. next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our power on. So we've already installed a connector for a trickle charger. Yeah, it's red because it's, you know, it's been sitting here for a couple yeah. of weeks um, without running. So it's not you know, surprising that, the, that it has gone down a bit. And you can actually see I've already put the positive lead on the trickle charger here. We're just going to actually add this one on top. It's, 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 no, it's no big deal to have two. Then we're going to do the same thing with the power. We're going to take this post out. Post uses a special a uh, 13 millimeter nut referred to as an acorn nut, which is great because it gives us a little bit more purchase space to get to, to get the, the, uh, the nut out. So we're gonna do that right now. So what we did was we removed the ground post. Don't drop this. If it goes down into the fender, uh, it's gonna be hard <laughs> to fish out. Back. Yeah. <laughs> may not be coming back. All right, and Rob said, let there be light. There's gonna be light. So we've got the trigger installed out here. We've run the power, we've run a wire to the, to the power to tap the power. We want a wire to the ground, which is this ground right here. We want a wire to the, the, to the trigger, to, um, to a fuse, with yeah. utilizing the fuse tap. What's great about this is that when we're all wrapped up, you know, we're doing another video on the, on the intake install, that'll be done soon. But when it's all finished, the cover's gonna fit right, the beauty cover, it's gonna fit right on top of that. You'll never even know that it's there. Well, we got the switch on the inside, and we don't have to run any wires or cut anything for, so that's nice. Speaking of the switch inside, let's go install it. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so here is our switch. Now we just need to figure out where in this car we're going to put it. It's got a, a curved back to it, but this is magnetized, yeah. so you could take this mount off. Because we do have batteries that we do have to get to here, so we're going to have to put batteries in it. Well, they do give you a couple zip ties, so you could, you could zip tie it to this. Okay. What do you think of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we could do that. It's a little wonky, It though. is uh, a little wonky. It's kind of weird. Uh -huh. We could... Uh, what about we, here? Yeah, we could double side tape it here. Yep, that'd work, but oh, wait a minute though. What happens if we have to do that? Well, that, yeah, that, that Well, that, yeah, because we're gonna yeah. have to charge, so yeah, that, it, that, that you may need to do that cigarette so lighter. Huh. Um, well, we could put it, yeah. I guess you I could mean, put it there. But put it on here. 
How about we put it right here? Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Oh, I've been back here the whole time. <laughs> You've been napping? I wouldn't say napping, but I've been back here. Could have used a hand earlier, but okay. Eh, too uh, many cooks spoil the shoe. Let's see. I, you know, I think you can fit it right between these two vents fine. But if we double side tape it, you're gonna have to peel it off when every time you gotta change the battery. Mm. And so that's not gonna work out very well. It'll be at least right. some grossness here. So we know zip ties don't work, but no. wait a minute. Trigger gives you these little discs here. These oh. Vel Velcro discs. Oh, that looks like pretty you hardcore may, Velcro. Yeah, that's like hardcore Velcro. That's pretty cool. Okay. How about we try that? Yeah, we could try that. We just go right in the middle of yeah, that magnet. Perfect. I, I, you know, if it'll hold on there, then that should be fine. That'd be great. Hell, a little play to it, but at least if somebody wants to move it, they can move it. That's right. All right. Here, guys, oh. here's an alcohol wipe. Make sure you clean that surface well so that everything in here is the right way. Thanks, bro. All right, it's been wiped. It's now time to draw the blood. We are not exactly building this truck for us. We're building it for someone else. And we don't want to overcommit. So if you're the one who ends up buying this truck, pretty easy to pull this off and put it wherever you want to put it. All right, there it is. So if you want to buy this truck, go find it on Bring a Trailer. Yeah? So this trigger kit is really cool. It comes with everything that you need and uh, in the, for the kid in all of us, it also comes with stickers, which we love. And they give you a lot of stickers, which are fantastic. So, I mean, you can have numbers, you can have words, front, whip, chase, locker, They've got all sorts of icons that you could use. And then we've also got another set of stickers here, radio, <laughs> blame Obama, uh, winch in, winch out fridge. So all sorts of cool stuff for this trigger kit, really nice. And of course, give you a cool decal so you can stick that on your fridge or maybe on your back window, something like that. Wow, that looks amazing. Right. You can't even tell it's there with the Bluetooth inside. What a clean way to put lights on a car. It, it's fantastic. Uh, um, Trigger um, 4 Plus or the Trigger companies really come up with some great innovations for off-road vehicles and adding things like lights and accessories. But there's also, you know, you could do this in theory with other accessories on a car too. Doesn't necessarily have to be an off-road car. If you just want to add, you know, uh, accessories that draw power, sure. Trigger 4 Plus is a great... I know you love the underglow, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so as you see, a great little project, a great little thing for about 300 bucks. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave comment down below if there's anything else you need, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.